U.S. military aid prevents occupation of Kharkiv Oblast by Russia. A new U.S. military aid package helped Ukraine to avert what could have been a disaster. The occupation of Kharkiv, Ukraine's second city, according to CNN. In addition, a recent decision to lift a ban on the use of weapons from the U.S. and other allies to strike inside Russia has had a huge impact, says Ukrainian soldiers who fight on the front lines. We have destroyed targets inside Russia, which allowed for several successful counter-offensives. The Russian military can no longer feel impunity and security, claimed the senior officer in Ukraine's security service. On the 10th of May 2024, Russia launched an offensive on Kharkiv Oblast, attempting to exploit Ukraine's weapons shortages and restrictions on strikes on targets inside its territory. This attack has led to a large number of civilian casualties, half of which have been documented in Kharkiv city. If the decision wasn't made, if we lost American support and military assistance, that would have been a game-changer, said international security expert Oleksiy Melnik, a former Ukrainian defense official and the co-director of foreign relations and international security programs at the Razumkov Center in Kiev. A regiment command post in the Belgorod region, an ammunition depot in Voronezh, a drone facility and an airfield in Krasnodar Communication centers in Bryansk and several naval sites in occupied Crimea are among the targets that were hit in Russia's territory. These strikes halted Russian attacks with S-300 and S-400 missile systems at Kharkiv Oblast, explained Konrad Muzaika, an independent defense analyst and director of Rochan Consulting. Ukraine started conducting HIMARS strikes on targets in the Belgorod region and forced the Russians to push their S-300 system, with which they were striking Kharkiv much further away. So now Kharkiv is beyond their range of Russian S-300 systems, he said. However, now Ukraine is facing another threat from aerial glide bombs dropped by fighter jets from a distance of some 60 to 70 kilometers out of range of Ukraine's air defenses. Ukraine also needs to achieve air superiority over Russia. The long-awaited F-16 aircraft, designed in the 1980s and 1990s, are worse than the most modern Russian combat aircraft. The country still may use them to push away Moscow jets delivering bombs. Fire that started in a reserve in Russia's Krasnodar region has spread to an area of 62 hectares, local telegram channels reported. The territory of the nearby Fregat Recreation Center has been completely burned, and the territory of the Romantic Recreation Center seriously damaged during the attack. More than 500 people were evacuated from the area. The resident in Durso settlement have received evacuation warning from the authorities. Helicopters and 8-4 equipment have been brought to the area to extinguish the fire. Strong wind prevents the fire from being extinguished. Fire broke out in the natural reserve in Abraudayurso in Krasnodar region on Sunday. The fire that started in the Tsukaya Shell reserve due to hot weather, initially covered an area of 10 hectares and reached a touristic center in the fire station. Some 220 people resting at the nearby Galabaya Volna Center have been evacuated. Камера даже не передает это. 
со всех сторон горит.